My name is Patrick Seminole, born June 1964. I lived the plantation when I was but 10 years old. Well, it was fun. We had about, I want to say about 20 families living. You know, since when I was here, I ain't never seen no new family came on the plantation. It always was people I know staying on the plantation already. When I was growing up, oh Lord, we had some kids running around playing. You know, it, mostly, it was mostly family, but we had, oh Lord, I, I can't come. We had, my mom had eight, and other family had more than eight. You know, some family had like about 10 or 12 in the family. My mom and my dad raised us because we was in school. I went to uh, Six Ward Elementary. It was, and it was black and white. My mom used to walk us to the head of the road to catch the school bus. When my mom used to work and said, like some days if we were sick and couldn't go to school, they had young, I was 10 years old. They had a girl, I believe 11, 12 years old watching me, you know? I said, well, I'm 10 years old. Nine years old, you watching me. That's how it was, you know. That's how it was. Told my mom, when I graduated, I don't want her to work no more because she almost got a leg cut off on a can cutter. My mom and my dad work in the sugar can field, you know. My dad used to drive the tractors, and my mom used to walk the roads, and that's how she almost got a leg cut off on the can cutters, but walking the roads on, on, in the can field. I didn't work in the field, but my brother and sister did, along with my mom, you know. Do my dad, when the weekend comes, you, you're doing work. You're getting in the yard cutting grass or doing something, feeding the hoe, you know, feeding the chickens. You're doing something when the weekend comes, you know. When the weekday is not, you, they tell you to get your lesson, on them, but when the weekend comes, they're making you work. You know, while they out there in the field, you, when, they come, when they come home, you bet, you, the house better be clean. Your house better not be dirty when, they, when they're knocking off. Or if, they, if the house is dirty, or you get, everybody in the house is getting ripped. And we used to have, uh, in the big house, they used to have two ladies, we used to call them the old maid. We used to get the mail, go get the milk. They used to give us a quarter, sometimes 50 cents. Soon as we get the money in our hand, we run into the store, getting penny candy, you know. And back in that day, back time, a quarter was plenty of money. It was a whole lot of money. Yeah, the plantation store name was Ragaspack. You know, it was a family-owned store, you know. And they get credit to people, you know, and you pay them about every, every week. You know, when you get paid, you pay them, you know. It was just like they had some filling station around here. They give you free gas, you know, not free gas. They give you gas on credit, you know. Yeah, things like that. It was, if the youngsters can see how we came up, the world will be a better place. That's how we were born and raised on the plantation, you know, to respect our elders. My mom and her sisters, her dad and mama was born and raised on this plantation too. You know, we, we, it was like family, among family staying on the plantation. Yeah, they used to tell us things like that. My grandf your great-grandfather was born on the plantation. Your great-great-great-grandfather was born on the plantation. Well, their life, their life was harder coming up. And as, as the years go by, go by, our life got, I ain't going to say better, but it got better as time go by, you know. You know, listen to your grandfather, your grandmother, you know, tell your stories about the olden days, the slavery days, you know. And I, I enjoyed days like that, being on the plantation, getting off of school, playing with your neighbors, your friends. Well, all of us, all of us was kin to say, you know, running around. We had a certain time to be inside. If you ain't inside, before that light go up, on that pool, if you're inside, you're getting ripped. We used to be in the can field, playing in the can field, making camps in the can field, you know. Then we used to see like the house building up. We used to be under the house playing a house, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. We done, I done had some fun on this plantation. Just like I said, we had a rooster. Well, it was like three houses from us. We had a rooster. If, if, when you get off the school bus, you better put on your running shoes because he'll chase you like a dog. A matter of fact, I have a brother right now. I got a pick on this nose from the rooster. I wish I could go back to them days because I enjoyed myself on this plantation. I really did. 
I, I had so much fun, me and my sister. I have three sisters and four brothers. Made eight of us. We live in that house right there. We live off the land. See, like if you get cut or get a nail in your feet. We wasn't going to the doctor. My grandmother gets shot me and put it on your feet. You know, that salt or uh, get the infection out your feet. Yeah, you know, it wasn't no doctor. Just like I said, we was born and raised off the land. My dad used to raise hog, chicken, you know, do gardens. We was raised off the land, you know. Yeah, we was raised off the land. When I tell you my daddy had a garden, he had a garden. No rain for certain, for so many days or week, we used to have to water it by go, go to the well and get the water by hand and water it by hand. We grow mustard, cabbage, okra, lettuce, tomato, corn. Oh, we grow, we grow damn near everything they had to grow. Yeah, we used to kill her, get, get, get there, borrow the water. Help my dad and them kill the hog. My mom get there and cook the red bean. We have fresh pork. They tell you don't eat the fresh pork. We have the uh, neck bone. My dad used to make hog salad, hog crackers, boudin, yeah, hog egg cheese. Oh, we uh, cook out. Don't talk when we kill a hog. Every, all the family on the plantation get together. We share the meat. You know, we ain't sell it. We give it. We share it. We kill a hog. Everybody, everybody on the plantation eat. See, they have, they have other plantations, like St. Joe down the road, O'Cali, you know, or Bessie K. You know, they got, they got uh, Whitney Plantation, Evergreen. Yeah, yeah you know, they have, they have some plantation around here, you know. We had, we had other kin people staying, like, on St. Joe Plantation, you know. So when we kill a hog, they come in, you know, yeah. It was like a family reunion. We, matter of fact, they still do that now, but I can't tell the last time I had went to a, a, a hoe kill. We used to call it a hoe killing. Nobody on the place shouldn't never went hungry. If one person cook, everybody come in the house and eat. That's how it was on the plantation. If one had it, everybody had it. My dad used to raise chicken. We used to get there and ring the chicken all have a, on a Sunday. On a Sunday, that was our Sunday meal, chicken stew. Well, we call it hen stew. With, with a good potato salad and some sweet peas, that was our that was our Sunday meal. We was raised all all that. Lots of fishing. That's well, we used to fish a lot. That's another thing. We live more off the river too. That's what we was raised off. And in fact, I was, I was baptized in the river right there. I was baptized in Mississippi River. Well, I was, I was 10 years old, so late 60s and early 70s, people start moving from off the plantation. Because they, they, they got stabilized, they was able to save some little money and, you know, buy a house or the family or the family relative left from a house. Once we left here, we moved one, two street down called Church Lane. And my grandmother, they had a hay lane, we could have walked from the hay lane to my grandmother's house, my dad's mom. And when we get ripped, that's where we run into. We run into my grandmother. We, when my grandmother died, we moved in my grandmother's house. It was hard to get, you know, to do things, get situated, like leaving from the plantation and going, staying in the house. We didn't have no restroom. We had to go outside and use the restroom. You know, we had to boil our water for the take a bath. We ain't had no bad running water, like bad tubs and all that. We had wells. It, it, you know, it was a big transition leaving from the plantation. And most, most people from, from the plantation, they end up packing and leaving and going still on the West Bank, like Marrero, yeah, mm, like Jefferson Parish. That's most people from around here, that's what they did. When they got the opportunity to, you know, to get making some money and buy houses, they end up moving to Jefferson Parish on the West Bank. Our houses, well, we like had like about, our house was like about three bedroom house. You know, we had like little bunk bay, bays, you know. Sometimes we sleep on the floor. Get a, get, make, make a bank, put a bank on the floor and sleep on the floor. Used to get in the yard, have big 50 uh, gallon barrels making fire, you know. Yeah, we have to, 
we had to use the restroom outside. Inside, we didn't have no tub like we had. Now we had like, we call it a foot tub. We used to have a big foot tub. We used to put water in and take a bath. We used to get our water from the well. Yeah, we had a well. Matter of fact, the well up there. We had wooden store. Well, we had store. We had to, you know, iron store, but we had to put wood in there for it to light, you know, for the heat to come, you know. Back in the days, they ain't had curling iron. My, my mom had a, a straightening comb, we used to call them, a straightening comb. Put it on the stove and straighten my sister and them had with it. We used, to, we used to have a man pass selling fruits, you know, selling meat, different kind of meats they bring to you, you know, like drinks, juice, milk, things like that they bring to you, you know. Ice, the ice man used to come past. You need any ice, have, have blocks of ice. You used to have a picket to pick it, to break it up. Yeah, back in the days. Tell you, we had, I won't say, but we might have had 20 cabins over here. It, it might have been more, because they had some in front of the plantation. All the houses were straight, in line. All the houses was in line together. And we had a road in front of the house, and we had a can field on the other side of the road. See, see, like the houses were uh, separated. That's how the houses were separated on the plantation. That's how wide the houses were from each other on the plantation. We had plenty of front yard and plenty of back yard. We even had gates like that. And some people had like fences, but it wasn't like fences now. It was like chicken fences. Mm -hmm. Do you see these cabins? These cabins have been so, so, so much hurricane. I mean hurricane, bad hurricane, Betsy, Camille. These cabins have been through so much and, and still standing. So these cabins were built right. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a hard time, but you know, our parents working in the field taking care of us, you know. It was some hard days, but you know, the Lord blessed us to put us through them days, you know. But other than that, that as the days went by, days got better and better, better and better, you know. <laughs>